on the last episode of Valkyria Chronicles. Right. I'll go gather the rest of the squad. Now let's get back into the fight. Bonjour, ladies and gentlemen. Pat in a Box here with some more Valkyria Chronicles. When we last left off, uh, we managed to beat through the trenches and fend off Salvaria. However, we were shot by a sniper. Well, more specifically, Alicia was shot by a sniper. And now we're going to figure out that she's more than likely a Valkyrie as well as Salvaria. And that'll be very cool to see. However, however, before I start this video, I just wanted to do that weekly or that monthly shout out thing. I'm, I'm everywhere tonight. Woohoo, yeah. Um, so, yeah, this month is obviously JD Gaming PR. He does let's, well, he sort of does let's plays. He does first impressions. Um, sometimes he will let's play the first impressions, I guess, into multiple parts, but yeah, I don't know exactly what it does. But basically, he does a lot of fun things. He gets really angry really fast, which is something I really like about him. That's a good quality. So if you like kind of Rage Machine characters, then he is definitely the one to go check out. So the link will be on the screen and in the description below if you want to go check him out. So without further ado, let's get on and start it. I'm terrible at opening up now. I don't know why. It's, it's a new thing to my already scheduled plan. So to come up with that is just weird. Ooh, without her little bonnet. They said it missed her organs, but she's still out cold, huh? Dang. Come on, boss. There ain't nothing we can do for her cooped up in here. Well, it did hit her in the shoulder for the most part, between the arm and the torso, so... We really got our hands full, keeping those imps from crashing down on top of us. Yeah, you're right. We'll be back soon, Alicia. We're out in the field as well, so... Lieutenant Gunther, might I have a word? Hmm? Sure, what's up? Yes, uh, unnamed medic. We could have given you a name, well, but I guess not. I'd feel more comfortable if we could talk alone. Right. I'll head on back to the squad, boss. Thanks, Largo. Get everyone ready to move out. I'm sorry to keep you. I know you've got a squad to run here. It's fine. What is it? Well, I removed the bullet from Alicia's body, but when I took a look at it, it... It's... The bullet wasn't of Imperial make. It was a Gallian sniper rifle round, sir. Yep. What? And not just a normal round, either. It's part of a new series, still in testing. So you're saying... You think Alicia was shot by someone on our side? I can't be completely sure, but... I believe it's a very real possibility. Totally not, Faldio. Why? What would anyone stand to gain from shooting someone in their own camp? We will find out. Probably in this na next Asper's cutscene, so let's go see it. I got a battle at the end, too, so... Ooh, spooky mu music. Ah, those incompetents! Why are they letting the Empire have their way? With all due respect, General, our army isn't equipped to fight a Valkyria. Yeah. We ought to pull back for now, and think of a strategy to neutralize her safely. Ah, quiet! Quiet! I'm beginning to like General Damon less and less. I loved his voice. His voice was pretty funny, but he's not a good now. guy. How will I explain this to the higher-ups? Tomorrow at noon, we march on to the Empire again. Every soldier we have fights! General! Know your place, Farad! You are dismissed! <sighs> this is hopeless. We'll lose the whole army. Isn't there... What can we do? We're gonna have a Valkyria soon, so don't worry about it. Alright, here we go. Awakening. Is she gonna become Ellie's Miang or whatever? It's pretty freaky. Here's Faldio. So Faldio is a bad guy this entire time. Oh 
boy. That was a short little cutscene. Oh, is she gonna get kidnapped? Cause I see Salveria in that cutscene too. Oh, so much is happening. Listen to me, Gallia. Cast aside your weapons and surrender. If you do not, Nagia's planes will drink deeply of your blood. Oh boy. No, she can't be a Valkyria. Another scion to the Valkyra? This world has no need for two. God. Alicia's a beast, dude. Oh my lord, and we get to fight with her? Yes! Yes, dude! Oh, I'm so... I almost have goosebumps, that's so cool. Let me catch you up on the current situation. <laughs> Thanks, but I can see it with my own eyes. The enemy is centered around the camp they've set up, smack in the middle of the combat area. Your squad will begin at this point. Right there on the map. High Commander is still calling for an all-out defensive. I have faith in your soldiers' victory. Your objective is the occupation of the enemy's base camp. The enemy's Valkyria has thankfully been neutralized by our own. This is a rare opportunity. Let's make for the best of it and try to claim the some ground. <clears throat> Pardon me. All decisions regarding the Valkyria from here on out will come from the captain or highest rank of fish officer president. Present, yes. Alright. Seems pretty simple enough. I already have selected four members. Interesting. Alright, let's uh, set up our guys. Alright, I got everyone set up. I don't seem to be able to control Alicia, so we'll see what she does. I'm assuming she's still fighting on our side, so... Concentrate on taking their base camp! Squad 7, move out! That was a nice little cutscene there. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Hopefully take out these nerds and destroy them. Yep, we have our own boss this time, that's pretty sweet. Boss! What's happened to Alicia? Boss! Sorry, that's just the way know. she said it. That blue flame is the same as that Valkyria said. You don't be. You saying Alicia's Valkyria? Looks like she's acting unconsciously. Get too close, she might attack us. I'm worried, but we're better off watching for now. In the meantime, we strike their camp. All right, so we can't get close to her. Oh, she gets her own move set. Oh boy. She's just slowly walking up to them. She gives no craps whatsoever. I wonder what she's gonna do though. Ooh, they have machine gun turrets now. Oh! <laughs> Dude! <laughs> she's gonna move again too. Oh, 
Can I look around? Oh, yes, I can. That's sick. Is she gonna hit that one over there? Oh, I would love it. Oh, dude, is that a Hetzer? Oh, she better not have killed a Hetzer. I wanna face that thing up by itself. Dude, I can just let Alicia tank that up for me. I don't even need to do anything. I could just have Melville go around. Holy cow, dude. That's sick. Okay, let me look at this map. Alright, it looks pretty standard. I'm gonna have a look around with my uh, sniper here. See what we got. So obviously we can't attack her. Um, let's see, what is this? Tank Destroyer. Yeah, it's pretty much a Hetzer. Uh, don't ask me why I know this. I'm a big tank nerd. That's pretty sweet. Alright, where's that head? There you are. Oh, yeah, it takes four shots to kill regardless. Is he crouching? Is it gonna do full damage? Nope. <clears throat> it doesn't look like I can hit whoever those guys on the hill, so I'm gonna have to flank all the way around right. Which I, I can arrange for. Let's get, uh, let's get Juno all the way out there and see what we can do against this tank destroyer. Can't climb up here, so I'm forced to go straight up ahead. <clears throat> all I really gotta do is fire one perfectly into the, uh, um, the bunker there, but... We should be alright. Oh dang, he's actually pretty strong. We'll just push him away as much as we can. Right in front of him so he gets shot backwards. I guess he didn't really want to move. Alright, we're gonna dump into this bunker here. And then we will move up on um, Zaka here and his shamrock. Uh, it doesn't seem to be too many things to worry about except for maybe that tank destroyer. I'm assuming that thing's pretty powerful. So I'm gonna have to watch out for that. We're just gonna push straight up here. I wonder if she'll walk in a circle. I hopefully she doesn't end up wrecking Welkin and stuff. So there's the anti-tank cannon down. And uh, we're good there. Actually, I could take a risk with the Idlevice here, push all the way up and fire a mortar behind it and see if there is a little explosive thing in the back. That's always good when you get one of those, so you can take care of them. Uh, although that tank destroyer back there worries me a little bit. Actually, it doesn't seem like I can fire behind it. Nope. I don't think I can hit anything from my angle, so I'm just gonna have to fire straight into the, uh... Oh, I'm not even gonna be able to do any damage to it, so... Might as well give it a shot. Um... Here, let me, let me smoke this tank destroyer out. Let's see what we can do. We're gonna, we're gonna defend ourselves as best we can from the tank destroyer, because I feel like that'll be a deadly foe. Do not want to face off against one of them. However, that does mean we will need to take out this guy, so I'll take out him real fast, and then we'll move all the way around as far as possible. Alright, he's dead. Perfect. <clears throat> Thank you. I love you, man. Are those side turrets? I can't tell. Oh. Couldn't tell. I'll probably win this, like, right now. Yeah, I could probably go and win this. I'll, um... For now, I will just take out this thing. Uh, because I messed up here. Here, let, let, let's see. I'm gonna destroy this thing. I, uh, I wanted to see what the tank destroyer did. I'm assuming we're gonna use the rest of this map eventually. Because there is too much of it, you know. Too much for me not to use, but... And plus that would be a very simple and easy mission. I think I can hit anything, so... Might as well just... You know, 
give it a fire at. But we can definitely kill it really fast. Yeah, I got this. I think. It's due in order. We'll give a, uh... No, we can't do it. No, we can. Just do this. And then if all else fails, we can just... Capture the base, yeah. Sounds pretty simple. I mean, it might not be against anti-tank power, but... Hey, what can you do? It's worth a shot anyways. Nope, can't do anything. It'll be there forever. Practically almost dead. Get this base camp's ours. That is a simple and effective mission. Boom. Yeah, I assumed we're still gonna fight. I'm assuming this first part was a slight fluke. Maybe? Medic! Medic! What happened? It looks like Alicia's passed out. Can you get her back to base for me? Yes, sir. Nope. What now? Massive tanks are approaching from the north and south. Oh, great. Be careful, Lieutenant. It's a pincer attack. Oh, grand. He left the camp open as bait to lure us in. Those tanks fire incendiary rounds. The impact explodes into a broad blaze. Grand on the flag. That you even in trenches and takes a while to die down. Be careful. Creep. Change of plan, Sevens. Hold the camp and take down those tanks. I haven't even moved people up. Crap. Oh boy. Oh. Oh boy. Oh. oh great. I'm just gonna, you know, hide right up here. Okay, they're decently far. Oh, we got a couple dudes over there. Oh, we're just gonna hide here. We we can't move. We have no movement. That was one turn, by the way. So I'm glad that I finished that in one turn, but Melville's all alone and I oh no, he there's snipers on the Oh, Melville. Don't die, Melville. You're gonna die. If the sniper hits you, you you can only take two shots. And he's all alone. Please hit somebody else. Now he's gonna aim for Melville. I'm sorry, Melville. Help! I'm... You're still smiling, though, so that's good. You never stop smiling. Okay, they're moving their guys up there. I just gotta get him I gotta get someone up there. Be very upset. Oh boy. This is not good. Not good in the slightest. Just not ready for this. Please, snipers. Yep, she's dead. I lost my sniper elite. Great. I don't have a way to counter sniper. This sucks. I have to redo this mission. No. Oh, great. I gotta redo this one. This is gonna be... I need to take all the time I have to handle all this, so... Alright, I'm gonna skip ahead and, uh... We're just gonna redo this mission so I can get up better, because this is not a good position for any of us. Alright, so what I ended up doing was uh, something very, very cheeky. So I know where they spawn now, which is nice. So I put Largo and Jan right here. So they can boom boom right in the butt of that uh, first tank. And then we have snipers positioned to take out these guys. 
Um, I have nothing to take out the snipers up here, however I assume the bosses will be the only target. So I'm gonna kill um, this guy Seema the Elder with Rosie, I'm gonna move one of my guys in, we're gonna focus on the tanks over here, and we're gonna take out these tanks over here. That is the goal. So let's see if it'll work. I'm gonna capture this base and get through the cutscene again, and we're gonna do this. Perfect. I'm in the perfect position to take these shots. Awesome, let's do this. All right, time to win, because we're winners. So, um, we're gonna take out this uh, Dromedarius, it seems. Or this one right here. here we go. Wonder, yeah, it does have an engine. Gotta love nature. Just perfect. Let me just get right up behind you, sir. Don't mind us. Uh, don't know how much it takes to kill you, but that was pretty much half your HP. Uh, I'm going to assume if I, I if I want to win this, I gotta kill both the bosses. Yeah. Um, both heavy tank. Yep. All right. Well, this is the, uh, the quickest battle I've ever been in. GG, guys. I managed to pull it back in time, because uh, it, it was a little cheeky tactic, but you kind of got to do it to beat these games, so, you know, I'm not too upset. One enemy tank neutralized. One to go, sir. Yep. Keep it up, everybody. It won't be long now. And then we just got to lay in shot after shot with um, Largo and Jan. We get four turns. We don't get to use all six of their shots. I should have used Largo first, but here it's all right. So boom. Oh wow, it's even more powerful than Welkin's tank. Can we get a super kill with Largo? There's no way we're gonna lose this now, so. GG. Can I get a tank bonus? Darn it. Oh well. Those tanks were reduced to literally no HP in no time. Boom! Yes! Oh, I love it when things go like that. Operation complete. Both enemy tanks neutralized. Yep. Bam, it only took me seven turns. That's quite a lot of money, actually. Perfect. And experience, you know. Always worth it. Alright, let's see what's up with uh, Alicia here. The watershed battle on the Nagyar Plains ended in the victory of the Galian forces. It made military history not only with its ferocity, but with the duel that ended it. The Imperial Army then fell to retreat, while Galia's grasp on victory tightened. Words never well more but whatever. Alicia, <laughs> are you all right? Logan. I'm... What happened? I can't remember. What did... I was shot, wasn't I? But here I am, alive and fully healed. And you destroyed three... Probably about 20 people. And it's like... Everyone looks at me differently now. Like they're scared. Welkin did... Has something happened to me? Tell me, please! Alicia... You better tell her. I swear to God! I'm gonna be so mad. No! You can't do that to me. Report. Oh. Parting ways. Um... Anyways, let's continue on fifth, fourth, and uh, we all know that Faldio was the one who ended up shooting Alicia. It's kind of inevitable at this point. However, this is where we actually find it out for real. Sir, may I come in? Greece. Any results on that thing I asked you to look into? Yes, sir. For starters, this bullet you gave me. 
its shape and markings perfectly match rounds used by an experimental Galleon sniper rifle. I see. So Alicia really was shot by someone inside the Galleon force. So, any leads on who fired it? Yes, sir. It... Tell me, Grease. The night before the shooting, records show Lieutenant Lanzett checked out the rifle. What? Faldio had the gun? Are you sure that's not some mistake? It's rare for a tank commander to ask for a sniper rifle, so the clerk remembered it. Sir, only two of those rifles exist right now. One is confirmed to be locked in the arsenal. The other was checked out to Lieutenant Lanzett and has yet to be returned. Well, he was found out really fast. I can't. It's hard for me to believe, too. Baldio? It couldn't be. Well, it definitely was. Well, I'm not stopping. If it ends up in a battle, then what can I do? Hey, Faldio, you in? I guess not. Notes on the Valkyrian race. The anthropology of the Valkyrie. Maybe he was reading up on the enemy. Hmm? This is his handwriting. Alicia must be made to awaken. Why would you write that down? What? Alicia must be made to awaken. No matter how much I try, I can think of no other way. I almost wish I had never joined them on that expedition to the Barius ruins. I'm convinced that the inner chamber was built to admit only Valkyra. But the door opened at her touch. That could only mean that the blood of their tribe courses through her veins. Still, I was shocked to find her bathed in that uncanny light that night in the field. Though I doubted my eyes, I never once doubted. That light was the Valkyrian blue flame. Ultimately, I had no choice but to accept the simple truth that Alicia is one of them. I'd already begun to question all I knew. The walls of the temple sanctum were inscribed with the Valkyrie's account of history. History as it truly was. We are all taught of the Darkson Calamity, and how their actions forever scorch the land. But this account told a different story. The Valkyrie invaded this land from the north, slaying the indigenous Darkson people as they came. Their grasp of Ragnite technology and the art of war were vastly superior. They trained the destructive power of Ragnite on the Darkson's land burned it to ash, then had the gall to pass the blame for their inhuman deeds off on their Darkson slaves. Darksons have borne that stigma ever since, while the Valkyrie became godlike saviors. Dang. The victors simply rewrote the history books. The Barius ruins promulgate a lie to all but their own descendants as hard fact. Reading about the Valkyrie's power, the true face of these saviors, left me stunned. Yet at the same time, I can't help but think of how useful it could be to us now. Since then, I've investigated every text and report on the Valkyrie I could find. They lead me to believe that at least a few scions of the Valkyrie must have survived to this day. All across Europa, these rare individuals live and die unaware of their own nature. But history has recorded rare cases of individuals who have awakened to their powers. Their stories share one common thread. All of them suffered grave wounds before awakening. If those accounts are correct, the blood of the Valkyrie stirs at the approach of death. Their power, having slept for thousands of years, bursts awake at one step shy of the end. Once awakened, if one of these individuals takes hold of the refined Ragnite arms of their ancestors, they make their mark on history as one of the Valkyrie of old. I couldn't stop myself. I stole the Valkyrian lance and shield out of the university archive. 
Supposedly, their blood serves to amplify the Ragnite's natural power. I have no idea what science lies behind it. Perhaps it's a consequence of their origins in the Ragnite-rich northern regions. Regardless of the reason, the Valkyria's life force itself calls forth a reaction from the stone. The enemy Valkyria decimated our forces on the Nagyar Plains. I could not afford to stay my hand on account of ethics. I had the rifle, and I forced myself to use it. Hmm. I shot her. I placed the lance and shield on her unconscious form. I was racked with insecurity and guilt. Hands red with blood of my best friend's love. But now I know. The choice I made was right. Valdio! Uh. Hello, Lieutenant Gunther. Is something wrong? Valdio, where is he? Sir, Captain Verat just called him in. He left only a minute ago. <laughs> Interesting. Now I'm gonna look at the fight. Let's do it. This part's probably gonna be out too long, so I have to make it into my own episode, so. Faldio, I'm only going to ask you this once. Was it you who shot Alicia? Yeah. I shot her. Tell me why. Why did you have to shoot her? The people. Galia needed her. Now let me ask you a question. How else do you think we could have won that battle? Sorry if for the lag. Not for Alicia's power. Galia would have most certainly so lost. Sorry. I still can't. And not just this battle. I'm talking about Galia's future. Uh, one moment. How else are we supposed to survive, Welkin? There you Caught go. on either side by giants. It's Alicia. Our Valkyria. She's the only one who can protect us from them. Wrong. Our side gaining power won't end this war. All it does is escalate the conflict. That's enough. Listen to each other. You may both be right, but still, you're both very wrong. I don't claim to have the perfect answer either. However, regardless of the reason, attacking one of your own comrades is deplorable. By Galleon military law, I remand you to the stockade until further notice, Faldio. And you, Welkin. 24 hours in isolation for engaging in fisticuffs. Chapter 15, Citadel Girlendio. I guess I am including it in the end. Alright, so again, thank you guys so much for watching. Like if you did, subscribe if you want to see more, comment what you think about Fathio. Au revoir, ladies and gentlemen. Au revoir.